Thanks, Miss America. <laughs> That's some about sweet tea. You frozen? <laughs> Trying to trick me. I don't think we did record last week because we thought. Uh, I can't remember why we didn't. Did we not? Because I forgot, or did we not? Because I forgot. I can't remember. Anyway. I think maybe I recorded Hal's one, and then maybe I switched it off by mistake. Okay. Well, anyway, if there are any teachers or amazingly keen parents out there who are watching all of these lessons, we did Stop Pony, Stop Pony in G, Sight Reading Lesson 37, Mini Wet 1, we were adding dynamics, we decided about the solo, which is Hunter Scorers. Yeah, are you clear on that? Yeah, good. And we worked on waltz for Boeing Memory. So there you go, that's just safety half, half an hour of your life watching the video. <laughs> Okay, so are you tuned already? Am I tuned, Mommy? Uh, yeah, I up today. Yes, I, I did a brief tune, but it might not have been a very good one. Let's do a less brief and definitely sure <laughs> rather than very brief and unsure. Yeah. Okay, can we start with Twinkle and G starting on G3? Can you scoot back just a tiny bit more and turn the computer down a little bit so that I can see your bow arm when it's extended, please? Stand up. No. See, I don't mind if you don't stand up. I'm not standing up, frankly. But, um, yeah, you just need to go a bit further away, either standing or sitting, sweetie. Gorgeous. And make me that wonderful bow hold, please. Beautiful. Have you got a bent thumb? I can't really tell on the screen. You know, I have a theory that my students' bow holds, that the, the casualty of COVID has been bow holds. Which, you know, I'm not so I'm not so bummed about because you are all playing with beautiful sound and intonation, which is the most important thing. But I do think there are more problems with bow holds than I've had before. And I'm choosing to blame COVID, whether that's just um, myself up the hook or not, I'm not sure. I would agree. I think it's very hard to see it on screen and obviously you can only see it front on. Yeah. Just working on the bow hold. So there we go. Right. Let's see how quickly you can get back to pre-COVID bow hold quality. So Twinkle, which variation would you like to do, or do you want to do theme? Uh, theme. One, pick one or the other. You need to. Good choice. Yes. What? What is that? Okay, fine. But you need to not be leaning on the chair then. All that hair arranging that happened a minute ago. You're still faffing about with your hair. Why is just doing that? Buddy, Kate's asked you to play Twinkle theme. Oh. Like normal theme or... Uh, middle G, please. Can you remember where that is? that pinky well done I really loved that you moved your finger when it wasn't quite in the right place that's exactly what I want you to do good work very nice and the ringing sound is lovely isn't it I can hear it even over zoom how's your practice been this week it was good till the weekend so we did I think we did five okay well done and we didn't manage but we didn't manage to um, log on to group class Okay, because you didn't have the codes or just life got in the way? Well, we, I emailed, Hal logged on to Sue's class, um, but I wondered if I didn't, I hadn't emailed the right person. I emailed um, Irene, but her code didn't work. Oh, it's Michael taking the group now, that's why. Right. The two group. Yeah, and I think if you can't come this Saturday, you'll need to give him advance warning because he's not got anyone on Zoom apart from if they email saying... 
Yeah, I did email in advance, I just emailed the wrong person. Yeah, okay, sorry about that, if that's a... <laughs> okay, um, but also if you're terribly bored, you could email Hannah Vandenbrill and ask her, not if you're terribly bored, that's an awful thing for me to say. If you fancy it, you could <laughs> Hannah Vanden brought about her Wednesday group because she's got a Wednesday uh, and a Tuesday group. Her Tuesday group is 5.15 and her Wednesday group I think is 4.20. Oh no, maybe it's Peter on a Wednesday. Oh yeah. And since you're just in all the time, you could just join in either of those. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm right. sure be delighted to have you. Um, okay, so... How is listening? Yeah, also quite good. Brilliant. Um, but we didn't do any at the weekend, sorry. Upsides. <laughs> Excellent, well done. Can I show you my new thing that I think is that's so cute? I don't normally do cute things. I normally do funky things and, you know, mad hair. But I think this is very cute and I love it. Can you see what it is? What is it? You know what it is. Can you guess? It's cactus holder for something. There's a clue. I have no idea what that is. Oh, for my AirPod, Air, what do they call them? AirPods. AirPods, is that what they're called? Right. <laughs> Good, okay, so let's have Hunter's Chorus, please. What are you trying to improve on for your solo? at the moment. Have you started thinking about it as your solo yet or have you just been playing it in review? Uh, playing it as re in review. Okay, so why don't you play it for me and then we can talk about how we can make it super, super, super awesome for solo concert week. lost at the end there didn't you well done love you've got really wonderful tone and your ringing sounds are brilliant so that is the big two sorted out isn't it tone and intonation very good uh so i think the next thing we need to do is neaten up a few bits you've got that memory at the end bye i know that you realized so then you will fix it yourself um so you tell me would you like to choose to work on your slurs being a bit neater like um or to learn the um, lifted stroke there first of all you choose and then we'll do the other one second uh, the first one the first one okay that's very grown up of you I thought you would want to do the lifted strokes first and then the other one so well done you I just my computer's just bouncing something for my attention because there's a problem with it so just bear with me one second um i'll try and work out what the problem is um okay what is the problem garage band fine the previous interface is not available i don't care <laughs> Okay, hopefully that will stop it bouncing and being annoying. Okay, so 
Do you remember? Ah, oh, <laughs> do you remember when you first learnt this piece? What we did with those slurred bows, or do you not remember? No. Okay. So the way that you're going to do them is hooked first. So if you think about your book, can you get your book too? How many places can you see four semi-quavers? Do you remember what they look like? Which ones? Semi-quavers. Do you remember which ones are the semi-quavers? Okay. Those ones, those yes, well done. It's the huckleberries in blue jello. How many, how many places can you see four of them in a row with a slur? Just count them for me. Huckleberries. Yes, but that all of those four counts as one. Yeah. So she, Kate's asking how many, how many of the four huckleberries in a row? I mean, the huckleberries, four semi-quavers in a row. Can you see? Oh, I'm sorry. How many of this? One, two, three, four, joined with the slur. How many of those can you see across the whole piece? One, two, three, four, five. Seven, 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 seven. Brilliant. That is excellent. Now, can you see any that are the same? Because we don't need to practice ones that are the same separately, do we? Yes, well done. And the second one and the the second one. No, yeah, is that one? Yeah. Oh, no, the fourth one and the fifth one. Excellent. Well done. So we've only got three patterns that are different, and this is how you're going to practice them. You're going to practice them all ups or all downs, depending on which way they come. <laughs> slur them five times and as you're doing the slurred ones you're trying to get them neater and closer to the performance tempo right and so we'll do that for a week don't worry about getting them super fast just get them sort of about to where they were when you played it through and then the next week we'll practice the box and so um I actually don't think that you need to practice this one because it's the combination of slurring and string crossing that makes them tricky. So I think we need to practice one and three as one box and then four and five and you can ignore the second set. So bar 15, that's the really awkward one with the string crossing. So can you do them five times? Really thinking about the pattern your bow's making. It's like a little doo doo doo, isn't it? A bit like a Nike swoosh. Well, not quite like a Nike swoosh, like a Nike swoosh with a bit more on the end. <laughs> and then you practice it. I've got to take my earring off. Um, so, which one do you want to work on first now? First or second? Second, okay, so that one I was on. So my turn, your turn, you can get ready to play. That is excellent playing by ear. Can you watch my bow and see what it's doing? string sound that's because that's really tricky isn't it yeah so let's do five and see if you can make the D go away more and more each time this is number two for you watch your bow did you hear any D no brilliant two Fantastic. 
fantastic. Three. Now, if I make it harder for you, can you do it with your eyes closed? Give it a go. Very good. String crossing. Go one more time. Well done. And keep checking that bow hold, Kirsty, because if the bow hold's wrong and then you fix the bow hold, it will just slightly change things in the hand. So you need to do even more practice. <laughs> so you may as well do it right the first time, buddy, and then you won't need to practice it more. Last one! I don't mind where you look for this one. Really good. Well done. So five times hooked like that and then five times slurred like it comes but nice and slowly yeah. that's your box for this week if you've got the energy to do the first one as well that would be great if you haven't we can do that next week this is one of the reasons we start preparing for the solo so far in advance our solo concert week's not for like seven six and a half weeks six weeks so that's one of the reasons is that we can take it step by step um and otherwise, maybe you can practice it with the music and look at the dynamics. Yeah. yeah? Excellent. So for your hunter's chorus, we're going to do the semi-quavers, semi-quaver neatness, and some dynamics. And you're just going to fix that little wobble that you had at the end. Yeah, and if we play that with the music, that might also help that, right? Definitely. Yeah. Great. Good work. I will give you a sticker through the internet. Here it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Good. Right. I don't want to stick on there. Have it on you. No, I don't want it on me. All right, put it on there. Put it on mummy's forehead. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I think your violin position is getting much better and not going around the corner and stuff. Well done, you. Good. All right, so shall we have a shake? Go on then. Do, 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 do. Can you make yourself into a pencil? Can you make your pencil squirrely? Can you make your pencil bendy? That would be so annoying, right? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Can you turn yourself into a ragdoll and disappear? A what? Ragdoll. Okay. Move forward. Copy dolly. Okay. Not, right. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. There you go. But sort of standing up would be better. But never mind. Whatever. Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh dear. How's your sight reading going, my love? Good. Yeah. Excellent. Um, let's do just a quick bit. You were on 37 last week, so. Well, I've put the thing in. Brooks are stuck together. <laughs> we are at 39. Great. Right, there we go. Done one. I think you've done one on both sides. No. Page thirty nine, not page thirty nine. Yeah. Th yeah, lesson thirty nine. But she's already done one and two. Okay, brilliant. So three looks very easy to me. I think that you should do four, please, on the pitch. Do you want to um, describe it before you do it, or do you want to just scan through and then have a go? Uh, describe it. Okay. Oh, careful. Do the third bar, love. Step up, step up, same. Step down, step down, step down, same. Brilliant, well done. Violin up. Can you give Hal this five minute warning, please, Kirsty? Are you going to yell it up the set? Yeah, I'm going to yell it. She's going to use the intercom. 
the broadcast to the whole house. He's gonna teleport. Tell that would be so handy, right? But you could make a hologram because like <laughs> Okay, let's do number four please. We could click our fingers and then a picture of her would appear appear in front of Harry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. Fabulous, absolutely perfect. Well done. Have a go at number five without looking at it ahead of time. Yes. Done, love. Excellent. Um, okay, next page. So for rhythm, oh, that looks tricky, doesn't it? Which one would you like to say for me? Not number one. Uh, number three. Number three. All right. Huckleberry jello, locust blue, berry goose, berry goose. Gooseberry, Huffleberry, Blue. Brilliant! And play it for me on your waist string, please. Fantastic! Well done! Really good. Make sure your blues go right the way to the next note. Do you want to do it just one more time for that long blue? Because your low rest and your blue sounded the same. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> Fabulous, babe. Well done. Really great work. Okie dokie, shall we do waltz to finish? How's it been going? Oh, you're back! I didn't even see you come in! Suddenly, just an arm. <laughs> you, were, you were both very busy when I came in. How's your waltz been going, babes? You think good? Okay, well, why don't you play it for me and then we'll know. About how many slurs there are, that it's always got at least two notes in each um, bow, either up, up, or down, down, or a slur, or a dee dee, -dee, -dee little doodle. Cold. You're going to be finished in three minutes, so don't worry. It was the cat, sorry. Check your bow before you play and your head, sweetie. Lovely. Great, well done.
Wow, well done sweetie, that is so much better than last week and I think that you should just play it again because the box at the beginning da, 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 was being a bit naughty and then by the time you got to the end you had had strict words with it and you had said oi stop being naughty and do it properly and then it was behaving like a good box like we want. So shall we just do it again? Can we turn the very lovely happy emojis off they're a bit distracting you mind you can turn it back on for the bow you know how to do it and i don't this is bad news isn't it <laughs> welcome to the rest of your life <laughs> it started so early <laughs> that's what happens right okay my love do you think it will help you to focus more standing up that's not a request, that's a genuine question. If you want to do sitting down and you don't think it makes any difference, that's fine with me. I want to sit. So answer the question, do you want to sit down or stand up, darling? I don't care. Okay, so let's stand. Let's do it. See what happens. If it still is a bit naughty, then you can just talk to it sternly and practice and do it next week. For one second because you had it by the end of the last time you played the, the one starts the up bow doesn't it down up at the moment your fingers and your bow are not quite working together yeah exactly Kirsty, are you being naughty? Sorry. <laughs> Shall we give her some time out? Okay, last try. If it doesn't go well right now, we'll just do it again next week and not worry about it. Okay, darling? it obviously now that it's in review but well done that was really lovely you sorted out your box all the way through there was just a little naughty one at the end but you know sometimes it can't be helped and your bowing was so much better and you're like really much much better. and you now look like you need to go and have a nap suddenly <laughs> as it's 
they're taking it out of you, all that focus. You did really well, Birdie. I'm very proud of you. Well done. Let's have a bow, sweetie. Now, if you want to stick a sticker from Mum in your book for the credit, that's fine. Or I'll just, I've made a note and so I can give it to you next time I see you. Wait for Kate. Yeah. Okay. Well done, love. Really good. And Mum, you need to remember the very famous phrase, don't just do something, stand there. Yes. This is very difficult to do when your child is playing something and you know what they're looking for and you're not supposed to tell them, but it's It's also when they work really, really hard. I know. Oh, we got there, you got there. You did it. Okay. You're welcome, bye. A very difficult um, balance that kind of situation. Afraid I'm mostly talking to you because I know you're there, but hopefully there are other teachers out there in the ether at one point or another watching this and thinking about that. But I think for me, because I know that we're going to spend loads of time on it in review, it doesn't need to be perfect the first time to get a credit. And she's been working really hard and she's got COVID, so you know. Generosity is a thing. <laughs> Hello, Hal! <laughs> I saw a tiny Hal. Here is a bigger Hal. Wow. Not so big that mommy can't marry you, though. How you doing, babes? Are you in a grump? Oh, why are you in a grump? Oh, enjoy it while you can, darling. It's not going to last forever. With mommy being able to pick you up and carry you around. Nice. Oh, so goodness. Um, I think I said this to you before, Kirsty. If you want to start beret, just don't do line three. Just sing it. Kirsty, are you there? <laughs> Have you turned the volume off, Hal? What are you doing? We oh, cheeky. Sorry. We did have a go at beret, but um, then we've had a pause. Okay, so if you do want to have another go, uh, just don't do line three with the fingers, just sing it. Um, okay. If you don't want to have a go and you just want to keep focusing on Hunter's Chorus and polishing up waltz and stuff, that's absolutely fine. Okay, great, thank you. Um, you might want to just not do beret and do some extra sight reading as well. We okay. want to make it to the end of the book pronto. Okay, great. All right, mister, should we have a bow? You look a bit blue. I think this is the filter, not your actual face, though. Have you gone blue? <laughs> just a little something. <laughs> That's better. Should we have a bow? Whoa! So quick, I can hardly see it! How's it been going this week? Good. You managed to do your group class with Sue. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, um, so have you done five as well? Yeah, five as well. Wonderful, well done. Which means Mummy's done ten. <laughs> Very impressive. And same for listening? Yeah, same for listening. Yeah, we did it together. Brilliant. Um, we were talking about how starting better. How's that been going? What do you think? Good. Is that blind optimism or is that basic? Yeah, I, would, I would say it is better. I think it is better. Um, it is. What Hal wants is for to have a full audience. Oh, right. Do teddy bears count? Do teddy bears count? That's a good idea. We could set up a big 
You could set up an entire audience of your toys. That sound good? Not now, babe. <laughs> In your practices. That sound good? No. <laughs> Human flesh only. Yes, Luke, Luke has to be involved. That's okay. It. Well, I'll leave. I'll leave that with you, as a. That's all right. Why shouldn't he be? Indeed. Um, okay, babe, so let's do a twinkle, but starting on D. Do you think you can do that straight away, or do you need a warm-up first? Come on, we've only got 17 minutes, so it's going to be a short lesson anyway. Oh, I'm just going to stop the recording and then start it again so that I don't have to um, edit it. So any teachers that are watching, just look for um, book one lesson and it will come up. 